I of course have two tap wrenches one with the uh, taper tap the other with the bottoming tap I put a little bit of tapping fluid on them already and I am ready to go in with the taper tap now some people like to drill this on the drill press not under power but using a hand tap to assure that you're going in perfectly straight and uh, with a taper tap um, and uh, eyeballing it you can go in pretty straight and always uh, check it in two directions to make sure that you're going in straight if you're slightly crooked you can still straighten it out if you're only in a few threads but once you get into full depth if you try to uh, straighten it out you're going to break the tap very careful when you go down near the bottom of the hole I feel resistance so I'm going to stop back it out I'm going to change taps I am going to take the time to blow that hole out so there aren't any chips out there down there and then I'm going to go in with the other tap I will we'll do that off camera alright I tapped it with the uh, plug tap I blew the hole out file just lightly there because you're going to have just a little bit of a burr at the top and then let's put the uh, cap on there got a Philister head screw I couldn't find any uh, socket head screws without going to the hardware store but this will do just snug it down a little bit and then we're ready to take the transfer punch and transfer the other one that way we're absolutely sure that uh, they'll be in alignment I like to use a brass hammer with my punches now I'm going to uh, take this off and I'm going to repeat everything that I did in the drill press before I'm going in with the 16th inch pilot and then the 964 and I'm going to tap it with the two different taps and uh, that will be off camera okay I finished the second uh, hole and I got it uh, the screw installed so you can see how easy that is to do by this method and it doesn't matter whether you have uh, two holes or a or hundred um, this method is, is very useful now I'm going to take this off and I'm going to show you uh, the other method uh, using uh, here's one that has not been drilled and I'm going to show you how to line up the threaded holes with a uh, blank piece now this is the second part of the video let's just say for example that we lost this piece or we ruined it or whatever and uh, now we have we're stuck with a casting here with two holes and now we've got our raw casting that we want to align up with these two holes now this one has been machined on the back with the step and faced off so and here's we're going to put transfer screws in there and we're going to lay this on and tap it with a brass hammer and that will give us two uh, center punched holes now some of you do not know what transfer screws are so I'm going to show you that now transfer screws come in a little tube like this and they come in any different size you can think of and I, I probably got six or eight different sizes all the way from small to large I'm showing you the larger one here now uh, these are Hyman brand I, I really like these this is 3H16 but the screws are held in the container I would get one that someone put on so tight and the container uh, has usually six in there and uh, this is what they look like they got a thread on them and a little point on them now the uh, container also is a wrench it's a little socket wrench on there that you can put the uh, screw into the wrench and then screw it down into the hole so I'm going to do that now with the smaller size, the 832 size, which might be a little bit harder to see. One of the screws has been installed. Now I'm going to put the other one in. And you want to uh, screw them in so that just a little bit of the point sticks above. And you can kind of feel that. And uh, check it with a straight edge to make sure that they're sticking up. And uh, they since we got a step on here I can't allow them to stick up too much 
but now I'm going to put the cap on there and I've got an index mark there and I'm going to orient it the way I want it. I can feel it rocking on the two pieces and I'm going to wrap it with my brass hammer. And I have transferred the two holes and I think they're showing up quite well there. Now if you don't think they're deep enough, lay them straddle them across your vise and hit them with a regular center punch as well. Now I'm going to take them to the drill press and uh, allow it to float around a little bit using that 16th inch bit. That method works very good. Matter of fact, I'm going to show it to you right here on this smaller drill press that's on the bench. I love this little drill press that I keep on the bench for making pilot holes. Now people have made fun of me saying, uh, where did you get that at Kmart? This is a Cameron micro drill. They cost well over a thousand dollars. I think they're twelve hundred dollars. You can look them up on the internet. They're highly precision. It's just a wonderful little uh, machine. I never would have paid that. I got it at an auction for sixty bucks and I, I, I just love it. I got it hooked up with a little speed control which is behind the cardboard here. But when you use, use a small drill bit and uh, your work can float around and the bit will flex just a little bit and will always find the true center and the hole will not move on you. So this is how I drill most pilot holes. Allow the work to float around. And I'm just going about halfway through it. I've got a parallel underneath it. Now I'll take the work over to the drill press and I will drill at that clearance size. By the way, this uh, little drill press even had a dial indicator on the top as far as getting the exact depth is concerned. That was damaged when I bought it so I took it off, but they do come with a built-in dial indicator. It's really a laboratory type of drill press. Okay, I've drilled the holes out. I'm going to lay it on there with the index mark toward the top. And we'll see if she fits. Draw them down a little bit with a screwdriver. I will of course be putting a gasket or some silicone sealer in there when I uh, get when I reassemble this. Now you see how simple it is uh, to make holes that uh, truly do align. And I'm sure there are plenty of you that have spoiled work uh, by trying to do this, and, and I sure have myself. And uh, these other little steps that I'm telling you to, to do with the little camera on drill press and that. Uh, I know they're detail oriented, but those are the things that can make uh, the difference between getting a, making a good model or a bad model if you're interested in fine details. And of course, we as machinists are. We're not wood butchers. We are uh, working to fine dimensions within a thousandth and sometimes less. And uh, with the risk of uh, being prideful, we do take pride in our work, even though pride is one of the seven deadly sins and probably the root of all of them. There is uh, yet one other method of doing this which I'm not going to get into right now and it's a little, little more detailed but the two methods that I gave to you are, are, are most useful and uh, I hope that some of you enjoyed this uh, and will be able to use them. This is Tubal Cain saying so long for now and be sure and watch my many many other videos.